This is me, a lost and confused broke American traveler backpacking for the very first time. If you aren't familiar with the term backpacking, then allow me to explain briefly what this means. Backpacking is a term used for a person who travels or hikes carrying their belongings in a backpack. If you are from America, then you know they don't teach us much about foreign countries, so I pretty much knew nothing about traveling. This was my very first time ever leaving America. I mean, I had to take like a 12 hour flight to get here. That's the farthest I've ever been away from home. And I knew absolutely nothing about traveling. <laughs> I've traveled to a lot of different states in America, but this was my very first time ever going to Europe. It all started when my friend Josh invited me to go to Greece with him to visit one of his friends. I love saying yes to random opportunities because for some reason it always ends up being a really crazy story. And that's exactly what happened. But I got it. You got it. For the first time? First class. So let's go. Both of us to Greece. Let's go. This trip actually changed my life. We actually flew first class to Greece, which was pretty crazy. And if you want to see how we did that for basically free, I made another video on my channel about that. But when we landed in Greece, we literally had no idea what we were doing. All right, so we're trying to get here. And uh, we both have no idea how to get there. Lost in Greece. Acropoli. This was also during the COVID pandemic, so Greece was basically still in a lockdown and everything was shut down. We had a few bumps in the road trying to figure out how to even get on a train because once again, this was during the pandemic, so everything was kind of weird. Two Acropolis over there. It says two Acropolis over there. I, I just looked at the sign. Alright, so I think we made it to the right place. I'm not really sure. We're about to find out though. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, we made it. Oh yeah, we're in Greece. Since we were broke travelers, the only thing within our budget was something called a hostel. Since this was my first time ever staying in a hostel, I honestly had no idea what to expect and I was a little spooked about the fact that we were staying in a random dude's house. Finding the hostel though was quite the adventure. We walked into a bunch of random hotels that were obviously not the right place. All right, so we made it to the hostel. And the best part is nobody spoke English. No? Uh, thank you. We ended up finding this really nice Greek guy who spoke some English and he helped us go where we needed to go. Thank you. Where did you come from? Uh, America. To Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. We met Josh's friend named Barge, which is the guy that we came all the way to Greece for at the hostel that we were all staying at. And that's when we all found out that we were staying in a room with only two beds and there was three grown men that were all supposed to sleep in there. So sleeping arrangements were a bit fun. This was my first hostel experience ever, so my expectations were not high. Oh yeah, and I forgot, Greece uses different charging ports than what we had. How do you, it doesn't fit. Since me and Josh had no idea what we were doing, Barge basically became our tour guide and he showed us everything we needed to do. Let me see one. Oh. Figuring out where we were supposed to be was quite the adventure. All of the signs in Athens were in Greek, so we had no idea where we were going the entire time. This was my very first time ever riding on a subway as well, which was fun to experience, and it only cost us like a dollar or something. First landmark, Acropoli. Acropolis. I'm taking the mask off. Oh yeah, mask off, baby. The giant line though, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Wearing a mask was my least favorite part about traveling during COVID, but they were charging hefty fines if you did not wear a mask, so it is what it is. Yo, so I don't think they had a plastic, like, this long ago. Uh, or wood stairs, either. Like, this is kind of disappointing. All right, guys, so we actually just flew all the way from America to see this crane that Zeus built back in uh, 6 BC. I think this building here is super important or something, but... That's not important. Yeah, a crane is actually the more important part. So all that white stuff on the poles is all the new stuff that they're adding. So that's the fake stuff. So it's not even real anymore, actually. We should just go back to America. 
The entire Acropolis was under construction, so we made up for the disappointing tourist attraction by eating this delicious hero platter and enjoying some espresso martinis with a beautiful view of the Acropolis. This was my first time ever drinking an espresso martini, so I was quite the noob at drinking these things. Oh yeah. I told you about <laughs> Oh yeah. This one's sweeter than I nor than than they normally come out, but it's good. Yeah, real oh. deal espresso martini. A oh, real deal? Afterwards, we skateboarded around the city a little more and came across the changing of the guard ceremony that apparently is pretty famous here in Athens. The changing of the guard was kind of cool to watch because they have to stand completely still for 60 minutes until another guard comes and swaps places with them. After watching the ceremony, we continued our skateboarding adventure around the city and tried a bunch of different delicious Greek foods, like the gyro, these pretzel stick things, and even this delicious Greek salad. This was probably the best Greek salad I've ever eaten, and I'm not just saying that. Oh my god, it was delicious. After eating a bunch of food, we continued our adventure around Athens and saw the Olympic Arena, which hosted the 1896 Olympic Games. This was the very first Olympic stadium ever built, and it was so cool to get to experience it in person. We even pretended that we were in the Olympic Games by doing a few races. Three, two, one, go! No way, bro. Sorry. Woo! Running on the track was a very surreal moment, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like I was truly in the Olympic Games. I mean, give me a medal at this point. We got to witness some of the energetic nightlife here in the city of Athens before deciding to book boat tickets for the next day to a random island by the name of Aegina. I never even knew islands existed in Greece before coming here, so I was honestly happy just to be on a boat. We rented ATVs and drove them around the island of Aegina while exploring a lot of the really cool places here on the island. All right, ignore the helmet. You have to wear them while you're on the ATVs. But besides that point, look at all these sea urchins. Like, there are so many. Like, I have not seen these big of ones in a long time. If you see all the black dots, all those black dots are sea urchins. They come along the whole line over here. If you look over there, too, it's kind of hard to see. I can try to zoom in. All those black dots, sea urchins. And I was also having a little too much fun on the ATVs and ended up getting screamed at by the police. But... We won't talk about that. Where are, where are we headed? To an unknown location. I'm not sure where we're headed. Yeah, start it. Yes, sir. This is crazy, dude. We only had a few hours to explore the island before we had to get back on the boat and go back to the mainland of Athens. Because everyone was leaving me the next day and I was going to be completely alone in Greece. All right, well, uh, everyone left me now, so I'm by myself. Uh, Josh just flew out this morning back to America, and um, Barge flew to Egypt yesterday, so I'm by myself now. <laughs> it's a rainy morning uh, this morning. Super rainy. Lots of cars, lots of traffic, everyone's out. Since I was alone, I decided to go explore Greece a bit. So I booked a plane ticket to another city a few hours away by the name of Thessaloniki. All right guys, so it's been really hard to update you guys throughout this trip because so much has been going on, but I just got off an airplane in Thessaloniki and uh, couldn't figure out which bus to take to get to the hostel. So I guessed like the first one that I could find. First bus I saw at the airport, I just hopped on it and hoped for the best. It ended up driving me about 0.5 miles away from where I need to be and the way I was able to do it was I couldn't find any bus routes I just had to assume like all right This is the closest that this bus is most likely gonna bring me to the hostel And I actually guessed it on the dot because the moment I got off the bus the bus kept driving straight Which would have brought me farther away from the hostel I'm about 0.5 miles away from it and um, It's currently midnight walking around in the middle of the city. There's nobody here. So Yeah Real deal just good at life this hostel I booked here was like $10 a night and I had the entire place to myself. Things started getting a bit lonely though because this was my first time ever in a foreign country alone and there was no one staying at my hostel because it was still during the pandemic. I only stayed in Thessaloniki for a day though because it was kind of quiet here and I honestly didn't really know what to do alone. So I headed back to Athens. I was only in Greece for six days before deciding to head to another country that I'll make another video about. But overall, Greece was a lot of fun. And being here showed me that Greece was filled with a lot of really nice people 
and a lot of delicious food. I mean, so much good food. Greek food is probably my favorite food at this point. It wasn't a very expensive year to travel as well. I mean, things were quite affordable. You could eat for less than $5. All of the hostels were around $10 a night and transportation was also pretty affordable. I am a pretty confused person though. So if you enjoy random travel stories, you're gonna enjoy my channel a lot. Uh, I can't wait to share everything I do with you guys here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember, be spontaneous. Oh,